everyone! For those of you who don't know, I'm Amanda Grace. I recently signed up for Camp NaNoWriMo, and this past week, because it's April, I have been doing Camp NaNoWriMo. I've never done Camp NaNoWriMo before, but so far I've just been treating it like NaNoWriMo in November, which I've only done once before. For those of you who watch my videos, you might know I hadn't actually done the outlining and pre-planning that I plan to do for the story that I'm writing in April for Camp NaNoWriMo. So, day one, and part of day two was mostly just brainstorming and getting the outlining done and all of the stuff I should have been doing in March. I have actually gotten some writing done though in the past few days. I set my word count for 50,000 exactly like NaNoWriMo, but I'm not actually expecting to write a full novel in the month of April. So however much I get written this month, I will be happy with it. Since this is basically just an update on what the first week of Camp NaNoWriMo has been like, let me tell you, I've been doing a lot of research. This particular story is a continuation of my Robin Hood series. However, it's a brand new series. It's book two because I wrote book one for NaNoWriMo. And the quote unquote evil Prince John is now King of England. Robin Hood and his band of merry men are being chased all over the planet. We're currently in France. And I don't know anything about French history, so I've been doing a lot of research. Doing my research for the initial Robin Hood series wasn't as difficult because I watch and read a lot of British books and shows. So a lot of the different cities and towns and landmarks are familiar to me. So when I was doing the research, I w understood what I was reading. I'm not familiar with any French history at all. So doing the research is a lot more confusing because I don't recognize any of the names of cities or towns or the people or nothing. I don't recognize any of it. So it's all brand new and confusing and it just, yeah, it hurts my head. But I'm having a blast because I absolutely love research. And it's kind of fun that it's all new stuff. I mean, it hurts my head as well because it's very confusing, but it's, it's fun. So I imagine I'll be doing a lot of research throughout the writing of this book simply because it is so unfamiliar to me. With Robin Hood, I did my initial research and then I just wrote the books. I feel like this one, the research is going to be an ongoing process. Almost every one of the characters is a carryover from book one, so I didn't have a whole lot of character profiles to make or anything of that nature. Doing sequels is kind of nice in that regard, because there's less, less work involved in pre-planning. Which is good, since I did no pre-planning until the day I was supposed to be writing the book. I'm not usually such a procrastinator when I'm starting a writing project because I love diving into character profiles and brainstorming and the outlining. I just love doing all of that stuff. But I was sick in March, so I did none of it, and then it was suddenly April, and I was supposed to be doing Camp NaNoWriMo, and I just... I'm winging it, which is new for me in the writing world, but it's fun. I honestly don't have a point to this video other than just an update of what's happening with Camp NaNoWriMo, which is basically research on French history in the 13th century, which is fantastic. If you enjoyed this random update, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I post once a week, or at least I try to, offering writing tips and advice and also chronicling my own writing journey, which is what this video is. There's a link in the description where you find my website. It has my Robin Hood series and my dystopian trilogy. All of my social media is also listed down below. Happy writing, everybody! Oh man, I just now realized I am not wearing my glasses.